Welcome to My Tax Prep Office. In this quick video, we are going to learn how to do a married filing joint return from start to finish. First, on the client information sheet, we are going to select filing status number two, married filing jointly. Next, we are going to enter the personal information for the taxpayer and the spouse. Now we are going to scroll down to enter this couple's address. One thing that is really nice about My Tax Prep Office is once you enter the zip code, it will automatically load the city and state for you. You can even add the state return based on the zip code entered here. For this year, we have two required questions on the client information sheet. One is for the 1095A, and depending on how this question is answered, we'll decide whether the 1095A will automatically load or not. Next, we are going to enter the dependent information. To do that, click the Add New button. Once the dependent information has been entered, you can select the credits that apply for that dependent. But most credits will automatically be checked for you depending on the information entered. Now let's give this return some income by adding two W-2s, one for the taxpayer and one for the spouse. If you are using an EIN you have used before, My Tax Prep Office stores the information in our EIN library to automatically pull the name and address for you. Now let's go to line 1 to enter the taxpayer's income and line 2 to enter their income tax withheld. This information will flow to the 1040. Now let's go to line 15 to enter the state information. First click the add new button and select your state from the drop down list. Enter your employer's state ID and state income tax withheld. The state wages are going to be pulled from line one. Now let's give the spouse some income by adding another W-2 and selecting spouse from the drop down list. We are using an EIN that is in our library so the employer's name and address will automatically be populated for the spouse. Now let's go to line one to enter the spouse's income and line two to enter the tax withheld. Now let's go to line 15 to enter the state information. First click the add new button and select your state from the drop down list. Enter your employer's state ID and state income tax withheld. The state wages are going to be pulled from line one. Under deductions in the forms navigator, you will notice some credit forms have automatically been added. This is because of what was selected on the client information sheet. For this year, our couple qualified for the child tax credit. Since they qualify, we now need to complete our due diligence form 8867. This can be done quickly by selecting the correct boxes and entering the supporting documents we used. Now let's complete our e-file summary. Enter the date. Check the box to indicate this return will be e-filed. Check the box to automatically generate a PIN for your clients. Enter your client's ID information. Select the first box for the taxpayer and spouse to authorize your firm to enter your client's PINs. Under the refund payment option, we are going to select paper check. At the bottom of the e-file summary, enter your preparer's ID to pull your information from the firm setup. Now, let's complete our state return. As you will notice, most of the information has already been carried over from the federal return to the state return automatically. If you do need to add a specific form or schedule to the return, you can do so by clicking the Add Form button. To complete our state return, we are going to select Paper Check. Now that our forms are complete, we're ready to e-file this return. Run a perform review to check for any errors. Then click e-file, transmit return. Select the federal and the state and click send. That's it. Thank you for completing this return with me from start to finish.